Let's next look at short run analysis in the nominal money market. The basic steps that we always like to follow for analysis, um, uh, steps for analysis are first to draw and label whatever diagram or market you're analyzing. So for us, we're looking at the money market. It has a demand curve and a supply curve. In equilibrium, this market determines the nominal interest rate and the quantity of money in the economy. Now, we have money demand over here. Money supply is just exogenous. It moves left or right as the Fed or your central bank or the government increases or decreases money. But the money demand curve depends on a number of factors, so sometimes it's helpful to sort of write them out here. Those are all positives. Any of those increase, they'll increase money demand. Notice I left off I because we've already plotted it over here, but those things shift the curve. So those are just notes I've made. The second thing is to then translate the shock into a factor and then finally move the curves and write the answer. So I'll show you um, what I mean. Let's consider example one where we'll have an economic boom. Economic boom. How do we translate that into a factor? Well, economic boom is an increase in real GDP. Real GDP shows up on the money demand side. Higher real GDP increases money demand. And so, we would see this. Notice money supply didn't change. So the new equilibrium is here. And interest rates rose. I like to write out that the effect of this, the short run effect, is that higher real GDP led to an increase in money demand, and that led to an increase in the nominal interest rate. As a second example, we could instead have an increase in the money supply. In that case, we can come back to here redraw our diagram in example two the money supply increases so we went from here to here and this pushed down nominal interest rates. This is a direct effect. Increasing the money supply just increases the money supply. This has a direct effect of pushing down the nominal interest rate. Finally, we could do an example three of an increase in the price level. An increase in the price level brings us back to this diagram here. We know that money demand depends on the price level, so that will increase money demand, and the result will look just like example one. We'll push up interest rates. Increasing the price level increases money demand, which pushes up interest rates. 
All of those are basic analyses um, using this tool called a nominal money market. And um, you can do any of them in the opposite direction, a decrease in the money supply. For example, a decrease in the price level will shift this curve the other way and push interest rates down. So money supply can move to the right or to the left. All of those things, again, are analyzing how those affect the nominal interest rate.